Hi, my name is Brittany Boyce. I am a nail artist for Orly International. I'm here with Nail Pro Magazine and I've been doing nails for about five and a half years. I got my inspiration by a lot of the glitter trends, also with the glass nail trend that's recently been out on the market. So we created the nails with um, more of a glass finish, but still incorporating like the trendiness of like the holiday glitters from the new Orly collection. I created the nails using Builder in the Bottle. Um, it is a new product. It is a hard gel, but it's in a bottle. So before I used to always use the products that were in a pot and it used to have a lot of mess and a lot of stickiness and so what I really like about this product is it's just really easy to use and it breaks it down into simpler steps. Um, with the product it is very good at self-leveling so I'm not needing to go in and actually like work the product too much and that definitely helps out a lot with like a bubbling issue and that's how I'm able to get a really good glass effect. With Orly Builder in the Bottle, I use the Orly Perfect Fit Forms. So I'm able to sculpt the extension and I'm able to take it to any shape or any length that I want to. So what I think is really cool about these forms is that they do slide out. Also, we reposition the form so now you don't have to manipulate the form into the opposite direction. It's already coming with the natural bend that it's gonna curve onto the nail. After I sculpt the nails with the Builder in the Bottle, I used um, one of the shades from the new holiday line the Lucid Dreams. It's a nice soft rose gold pigment. I used that and I also pulled a color from our permanent line which is a hollow and it's a really nice gold champagne mixed with silver glitter and it helped incorporate the design we did today. The tips that I have for the gradients would be just start small. I see a lot of people that add too much glitter and then there's a lot to work with. I like to go in and just do very thin layers, even if I have to do five or six of them. I would rather do that, that way I can watch the like flow of it and make sure that nothing's sticking out. Builder in a Bottle is really good for all different types of nail art. I use it personally to adhere all of my stones. Um, I don't like using resins or glues and it just adds another product to your kit. So I like to use that for the stones. I also like to do it with, um, for like simple like 3D looks, like if you're trying to do like a unicorn look or anything like that. It's also really good to encapsulate with as well because it does self-level so much when you're encapsulating something you're not as worried about the bubbles happening. So you're able to put like glitters in there and then when you work the product, you don't have to like move it around too much. You just let it droop over the, what you're encapsulating. The way that I avoid getting bubbles in the builder is to every time I do a stroke, I make sure that it's very slow movement and I actually let the product work for itself. I think this product is easier to use because of, besides the convenience of just having it all in one bottle, um, I definitely think it brings out like a new factor to nail technicians that say are intimidated by your regular hard gel. It's not as intimidating looking being in the bottle and then when you see the application knowing that you can go in and do like the basic like simple brush strokes and then adding more to it and then watching it self level, I think just to them it makes it seem easier. Another thing that's really cool about the product is that it's actually a soak off hard gel. So instead of having to originally file off like you would your traditional hard gel, you actually only have to file off about 70 to 80 percent and then you would soak like you would for a regular gel manicure and within 15 minutes you're able to push off. I do prefer to do fills um, with the product. Um, it's just nice to have a benefit of being able to soak it off.
I find my inspiration through many things. Um, sometimes it's like street art or artwork that I see. Um, also, I mean, of course, Instagram is like great for like certain looks. Um, different patterns. I love geo nail art, so I'm super into patterns and definitely different like color schemes. My favorite part of the shoot today was being able to incorporate two different styles but still having like the same type of inspo. With one hand we went with more of an icy glass look and then the other one we incorporated a lot more rose gold. If you want to see more of our work you can follow me at nails underscore of underscore LA and also go follow Aurelie.